Hey guys, what's up? Today we're doing the Utz or Oots Butterfinger Mini Pretzels. I don't know anything about these. I'm going through the store, the Walmart neighborhood market, and found these on the uh, shelf. So we're going to learn about them together. They smell like Butterfinger, which makes sense. I don't like Butterfinger, so I want to be uh, honest and open about that up front. But the main thing I don't like about Butterfinger is the texture, like the crunch of the thing. The flavor, I like it in shakes. We've had other things, uh, the Butterfinger cups. Those were good. Those are good. Um, so I, it's just the candy bar itself I have a problem with, not the taste. I'll go first. I think I, I, I saw doubt on your face as you yeah. ate that pretzel. This is a solid B. Um, I would probably eat like five or six of these at a time. I wouldn't want a whole bag. It might kill you. Plus uh, the calorie count on this. You know, like 700 calories if you eat the whole bag. But like four or five of these in a nice Coke Zero wouldn't be bad. I give solid it a, B. Well, I give it a, a C minus. It's really it's <laughs> salty and I don't really like it. It's Yeah, it's not a, not a favorite of mine. If you didn't like the salty, sweet... Not really, no. See, that's kind of what I did like. We've had some salty sweet things like those god-awful Chips Ahoy. Yeah, no. Those were good. Yeah, they see. did it right. <laughs> Chips Ahoy is never, ever. Nope. That's all I'm going to say about Chips Ahoy. All right. <laughs> What's the question of the day, sir? What is your favorite uh, sci-fi TV show? Go ahead. My Doctor Who. Oh, what a shock. <laughs> What's yours? Uh, mine, because I don't think you can consider... Uh, Lost, a sci-fi show. My favorite sci-fi show is Fringe. By the people that made Lost, at least some of them. And by the people that made, like, uh, the newer Star Trek. So, yeah. What's your favorite sci-fi show? Please, don't just fill it up with Doctor Who. Something else. Don't give him any justification to watch that show. Bad acting. Bad sense. Slow down. Stop. I, I, no. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't say that. You misheard me. I didn't, I didn't say this. He's great acting. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's great acting. You've never seen an episode. Why you, you I, can't judge. You have no room to say these things. I've seen enough. Oh, no. What? Like, what episode? When? Where? When you watch the show and, like, when somebody walks out of a room and the wall shakes, that's bad acting and bad indication of their set design. Whatever. And what the, the what, you know, just the <laughs> overall special effects... Look like they were done. They've gotten better though, like a lot better. Since like last week. No. I'm not talking about the '60s version. I give that a pass. I don't know. But you know. But the the version I want, like it started in 2005. I okay, think. The yeah. You want. And it's going up to like 2013 now. So. Hey man, I'm in the minority on this. People love Doctor Who. Uh, somebody, just not this somebody. You know, if you're gonna watch something from England, watch Sherlock. Or the, or the UK, let me say that properly for our friends over there. You're in the wrong. It's... I bet people from the UK don't even watch Doctor Who. They probably sit over there and laugh at us going, know. silly Americans, they think they're cultured. A lot of British people watch Doctor Who. Thanks for watching.